All right. Let's try and test out some new games. Hi, everyone. Chris Goglin here again this morning. Uh, Rastakhan's Rumble has been out for almost a week now. We're starting to see the first inklings of what decks might be good. And uh, today I'm going to be playing a couple games with a modified version of Rush Warrior. Uh, I know I did a stream with this game, with this video last week before the expansion released. But obviously there's some new cards in it, including the new Legendary that uh, certainly takes uh, Rush minions up a notch. So excited to see how this uh, exactly plays out. I've used a few games with it and it seems to be pretty strong uh, between the two. That's the wrong deck. There we go. Looks like Deck Tracker got a little confused for a minute. Kaliseth, Dynamatic, Razor Blade. Yeah, I can make that work. <coughs> In this case, we are going to coin Keliseth because my only other options are pass or play the Town Crier, and I don't want to take minions out of my deck until after I buff them. <coughs> so what's new in the deck? Uh, the Spirit of the Rhino. Rush minions are immune the turn they're summoned, which is pretty awesome. Let's see which rush minion we get. We got our big rush minion. Uh, and then, obviously, uh, Akali the Rhino, Akali, uh, is kind of the beat stick of the deck. <coughs> really drives home those last few points of damage. Uh, Draw a rush minion from your deck, give it plus five, plus five. The one I seem to draw the most often is the uh, military commander. And then when he's between the buffs from him and from Keliseth, he tends to get uh, pretty large. Now we get to see some of the new Shaman cards as well here. Here's the new Their Spirit. Whenever you cast a spell, draw a spell that costs one more from your deck. So now he just got a two-cost spell in his hand. And now he's overloaded. Now his weapon got bigger. Let's see what he does with all that. He's just attacking face. Interesting. I think what we're going to do is this and clear the board. And then we'll see uh, how he responds to that. an elemental. So not a mech, which means that the dynamatic will clear him. I really like this guy <laughs> for exactly situations like that. Between him and the blood razor, you can really clear out a lot of stuff. Uh, 
he's going to make a bunch of swarm minions. Look at that. Six. This seems like a good guy to silence. <coughs> Slow him down a little bit. Mrs. just got home. Had us a hat of her, of course. All right, so now we're going to start. Of course, the best part about making him immune, he gets to keep his divine shield. <coughs> see what he counters with. This looks like that uh, elemental rush, you know, uh, lava burst overload kind of deck. Yep, there's the lava burst. Fortunately, I'm making him waste a lot of his spells on my minions, so he won't have them to go face with. But this is really the best part of the deck right here. You give your big guy immunity, he clears out whatever you want, and then you draw a big minion and make him even bigger. So this little four drop is now an 8-11. Will actually be an 11-11. And because of the way he did things, all right, so what's the right way to do this to maximize my damage? I think I take him out. And that guy just became a 9-9. Nine, nine. He clears that. I think I'm going to Fungal Mancer. To make these guys all nice and big so he can't do anything stupid like Volcano and clear my board. Yeah, those guys aren't going to get it done. Uh... Yeah, that was game anyway, but... So that was certainly uh, a good example of how when things go really well, exactly how it plays out, where you have too many options of stuff to put down, so... This will probably be an example of the other side, where things don't quite go as well. If this is the new odd elemental mage, as much as I love having Hell Scream, I need to put him back for now. Oh, 
Oh, time warp. Uh, no rush minions in hand, so I don't necessarily... I mean, I do have two of my spirits, so I could have thrown one of them down. I did this backwards, so I should have done that turn one and then turn two. I could have armored up. Now we're going to see what we're going to draw. Uh, we got the wrong rush minion, so now I need to put one of these out as well. And then we'll see what he's got up his sleeve. <laughs> Looks like we're both drawing a card. Not the card I wanted was another blood razor. I will give him his first spell. I assume he's going to play a bunch of elementals and use their spell stone and things like that to get more spells in his hand. Oh. Flame Geysered. Okay. We're going to Blood Razor. Alright. So we both got eight cards in hand. And I don't really have any of the eight cards that I want. I haven't hit Kelaseth yet. I haven't found a town crier to pull out any of my rush minions. That's interesting. I guess we're going to do this. Do I attack first? No. I'll try and see if he splits them up and then I can finish everybody off. Perfect. It cost me a rhino, but that's an easy trade to make. Especially because I have the second one in hand already. Banana buffer. Oh, because it gives him more spells that he can then cast. That's clever. Alright, let's find out. <laughs> I think vaporize. Ice barrier. do that yet because turn seven's coming up and for mage that usually means like flame wave so let's see if he's got it blizzard And we're going to make another big militia commander. It's always that guy. <laughs> He's never like, hey, we're going to make a super huge Darius Crowley or a super huge Zilliax. It's like, nah, you're going to have another militia commander. Which I guess is good because he's one of the cheaper guys on the deck, but... Oh, jerk. That's a jerk move.
still get cleared with a very big spell, but he does not appear to have one. He's digging for something. He's in big trouble, though. How much damage can I do? Alright. You go attack. That's fine. He's got a whole lot of armor. And you attack. Now I give myself... A charge minion, and then I blood razor. I make that guy huge. That was an awesome turn. I don't even know how much damage I just did. I was probably more than 30. What did he have? Or close to 30? 18 and 9. That's 27, 30, 32, 34. I mean, obviously we know what he's trying to do. Where is he in terms of his quest? He's only cast two spells so far. All right, there's three. Does a town crier get me? It gets me a Zilliax, which we like. try and do that, max out our life, and hope we live through this turn. I mean, obviously he can clear, he's got to have some spells to clear some stuff, and obviously he's going to do the whole Molten Reflection crap, but It's crazy that I have to do stuff like this to try and push damage through. Does he have it all? Yep. Double Apprentice, Molten Reflection. Yeah, I think he... I think he's got us. There's spell number six. Just took too long. We didn't draw either of these guys. Never got Kellis at the pump all these guys. Could have been just extra points of damage along the way. just gave himself extra spells which will create fireballs and he should have more than enough time to cast seven six fireballs and kill me 
No, we're going to make him do it. <laughs> I think you can cast up to like 12 uh, within your time allotment. Depending on your connection. Two Frost Novas, two Blizzards, a couple other Freeze spells from his Tome of Intellect. Yep, just enough. <coughs> yeah, when in doubt, just do it again. So Paladin. Paladin. Is it Odd Paladin or is it the new Healing Paladin? We're going to put the Super Collider back. Uh, yeah, we'll put it back. It was odd. Okay. <laughs> that might actually be okay. Firefly, turn one. Okay. There's my blood razor. All right, now we're in business. Let's get out my acolyte. So we traded, and the board's all clear, which I have to believe favors me in this matchup. If he doesn't have minions, and he can't, uh, you know, set up a quick level up, I'd like to believe that favors me. Obviously, he's going to have to play the slower, longer game. I mean, he can flood the board at some point late game with uh, his Vine Cleaver and whatnot, but... See, those guys don't bother me. I can clear those guys. 
Which way do I want to do it? I want to do this. I want to do that and clear stuff for two reasons. One, it gives me a clear board. Two, I've got Zilliax in my hand, so if I need to, I can magnetic these two guys together. There's another cheap guy. All right. So I think I want to Spirit Crowley. Take him out. Unless he's got like double blessing or something. Well, he can trade into him. All right, so we're going to have a little fun here. You're immune, so do that. Love to have saved the Blood Razor for one more turn so I could have triggered Hellscream, but I can't have him have a bunch of guys on the board that he can then pump. A Lich King, you say? Oh, this will work out nice. Best way to get rid of him. Nope, that won't do it. I believe it's this way. We're going to trade off a bunch of guys here. I think it actually puts me in a position where I can win next turn. Yeah, he's going to try and go big now and level up, right? Yeah. It's the only move he's got. Yep. And this is where I need Scourge Lord. Ah, yes. Top decking champ. I was one point short. I was one point short. If I had traded Zilliax, I have 8 and 13, which is 21, and he had 22 life. So I have to take a different approach, keep my Zilliax to keep my taunt alive.
not going to lie, that was one hell of a top deck. Otherwise, uh, it's certainly a different board that I have to trade around into. All right, so we got one more game here we're going to play. Priest, huh? So in terms of new Priest decks... Let's put him back. Get the second Town Crier. So new Priest decks, what have we seen? We've seen new Dragon decks. And then, of course, there's the old cloning gallery deck. <coughs> That's probably not good for me. He's looking for spells. Uh, there is a new... Um, buff deck too. The uh, the inner fire, divine spirit one with the priest's new expensive taunt minion. He's like a seven eight, cost twelve, but he's minus one for each spell you cast throughout the game. So they tend to just cast a bunch of spells and get some free taunts. put him out as well. Make him trade. I would much rather save Crowley for somebody bigger, but does not appear that I'm going to have that option because I don't have anything else to do with this turn. This looks more to me like the cloning gallery deck where he's just going to try and make big minion or, you know, smaller copies of all his minions and then resurrect them all. So far all the cards he's played have been a bunch of garbage. That guy is not terribly problematic. So we've got Fatal on the board right now, and he's played a bunch of coins already, so he may not be able to... Ah, damn. All right. Okay. We've got 13 on the board right now. No, I think we just... What's well, Blood Razor? <clears throat> that should pump them both up by four each. But I do come up like a point short. Oh, he threw in the towel and conceded. Maybe he didn't 
do the math and realize that he was going to get life back. Oh, that's right, that was my quest this time today. Play a bunch of cheap, crappy minions. Alright, play one more because that one went really quick. And, well, I like winning quick. <laughs> Who doesn't? So thank you guys for watching this morning, of course, and uh, hope you like the deck. Obviously, it's not uh, too terribly different from what people were playing pre-expansion. Uh, but it seems to be working pretty well for me. Uh, let's see if I can pull up my stats real quick. Uh, well, Rush Warriors 7 and 4 right now. I've since been using it. Paladin. I'm going to keep Garrosh because of how wonderful he did for me last game. And of course now I'll probably end up playing against the other version of Paladin. But yeah, 7 and 4 so far since uh, putting this version together post-expansion. Which isn't bad. 64% win rate. Uh, two losses were to Hunter. All right, so I wasn't paying attention. Uh, so he's just playing regular old Paladin. All right, so this is probably the new heal Paladin where you do the thing with the stupid tiger and then make him... Uh, the only card left in your deck, and then you do the Holy Wrath for like 25 damage at a time. So I can clear these guys now, and then I can chain gang Crowley on curve. That seems reasonable. Obviously I don't want to let him get too far ahead, just in case he's got any pumps and things like that, because that is the other deck that I've seen, is the one where you play the uh, Immortal Prelates and, uh, you know, just keep buffing guys. I'll put myself in range of Consecrate by doing that, but... And it's just a chance I will have to take. Yeah, I know I'm helping him draw through his deck and pull all his guys out, which is not what I really want if that's what he is doing. But he hasn't really he hasn't played any spells yet, so I'm not exactly sure which version or which build this is. What's he got up his sleeve now? Equality Consecrate. Yeah. Well, we knew that was coming at some point.
kind of a waste, but I gotta get somebody out on the board, right? No town criers, no Caliseth. Okay. So High Priest Thakal is, is his name. And what he does, as you just saw, is convert all of their health into armor. So then they can play all their healing spells and abilities and get themselves to like 50 or 60 life. And there's Uther. So now he's got more armor, now he's got life steal. Just gonna have to sit tight here because now we're in for a long game. Hoping we draw into something that we can play. Did he get the same one? No, he got a different one. He's putting them all in hand. Interesting. So then you can just play them all at one time, have all four on the board, and there's nothing I can do about it, and just lose. <laughs> That's going to suck. And I don't really have uh, enough minions to go kill him quickly. All right, there's a rush minion. So I'm going to burn a better card than that. That guy's nothing. That is a guy he already has in his hand. That didn't work at all. If you have all four, 
not just if you have four. So he's got two in hand. There's the third one, which he just copied. So now he's got three of them in hand. That's not good. So you got the guy to make his uh, <laughs> hero power refresh, too. <laughs> I really hate that timeout card. It was probably one of the stupidest cards they made in the set. It's like... I don't know why I did that. I think I've just pretty much given up the fact that there's no way I can win this game now. Because he's got all three. Of these jackasses in hand. And then he'll just create the fourth one and win. Right? Yeah. Clever. That is certainly clever. <sighs> that just really just annoys the crap out of you when you've got lockout decks like that. That there is no, I mean, yeah, you kill them faster. That's just kind of the, the solution to it. Just kill them before he gets to that point, but. You know, when you get to that point where you've got these ultimate win conditions, guys like cards like that, cards like the Mechathune and things like that. I've always just found them to be uh, incredibly stupid. Yeah, I have a feeling Paladin is going to be one of the most popular decks being played for quite a while now. Especially when there's several different builds, as we've just seen. I mean, obviously, you've got the Odd Paladin. <laughs> and now you've got the Healing Paladin. And now you've got, obviously, that particular version there where you're you know, doing a lockout with the hero power and then you know like I said the other version with the tiger where you do up to 50 damage in a turn Saranite Chain Gang. What a coincidence. I have one of those too. Do you want to defile and kill everybody? This looks to me like it's more of a zoo type deck. Obviously, Keliseth and minions that make extra copies of them. Probably not playing Defile Hellfire. <coughs> or at least.
least that's what I'm hoping. Zoo swarm pass. Okay. Now, what are our options here? I can fungal mancer and buff these guys up big. I can spirit of the rhino Put out my militia commander, clear him, he clears him. This guy gets really huge and I do a bunch of damage. And then I lose just about everything back on trades. But I don't think I can stop him from trading back into me anyway, so. won't do as much damage as we can, right? Let's see if he's got a scourge. Oh, if he's got a scourge lord, then he's gonna pass, and I'm okay with that. Dreadlord. He's got a fungal mancer. Nothing I could have done about that anyway. Couldn't kill enough minions. So he does all the trades. Clears all them out, and I draw. Hey. I play you, you're immune. He trades and takes out my militia commander and I still have three minions to his zero. Or he plays a scourge lord and then trades into my worgen and then clears, or demon lord, I can't want to keep calling him scourge lord. Cause I'm hoping I get my Scourge Lord soon. Interesting. Ah. Cost him an imp. Alright, so... Let's see who we draw. Crowley. <coughs> Who's not immune? We got this guy. He's got no cards. His hero power, his hero's health is getting lower. He's he's done. Good game. Good game. Oh, that would be game right there, basically. Well played. <coughs> There's nothing he can draw that can... He can prolong this game a turn or two. I can't kill him just yet. <coughs> yeah. Hmm. 
All right, so there is some examples of the new Rush Warrior deck. Obviously, we've already showcased Odd Mage. This thing I'm still toying on with is New Druid. I don't really think it's that great. It's fun, it's interesting, but uh, I don't know that it's a very competitive deck. But uh, thank you guys very much for watching this morning. Hope you had a great time. I know I always have a great time doing these things. And uh, be sure and you know subscribe to my channel on both Twitch and YouTube so you can see all of my videos. And uh, hopefully I will be attending the HCT tour stop in Philadelphia next weekend. I'm like number two on the wait list. So I'm hoping to see if maybe one or two people drop out and I still get a spot. I'd love to play my first live event ever which should be interesting. Um, looking forward to that as well. But uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and have a great day.